In homework number 23, we're talking about piecewise defined functions. These are functions that are defined in pieces. So we have here that f of x is equal to x squared minus 3 for values of x less than 1, and it's equal to negative x plus 3 when those values are greater than or equal to 1. Now, in this homework, we have a couple of extra graphs over here to just kind of sketch out these guys. For example, if I see x squared minus 3, I know this is a parabola with a vertex at 0, negative 3. And so I know where the rest of those points are because we've been doing a lot of these. For, you know, for example, 1 squared is 1, 2 squared is 4, 3 squared would be 9, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, like this. So this would be what x squared minus 3 looks like. However, this function is not all of x squared minus 3. It's only those points where the x-coordinates are less than 1. So here's when x equals 1 right here. So what we do is that basically we just create a little cut line right here. It's as though you're taking a pair of scissors and you're going to cut this guy. And then you a little pair of scissors. You've got to cut this, but you're only going to keep part of it. It says you want to keep the parts where the x's are less than 1, so that's going to be on the left side of this. This is what you keep. And you're just going to trash this piece. So you take everything you see here, and you're going to translate it over to the major graph over here. So your key points, being down here at negative 3, negative 1, negative 2, and so on, Now, this point right here, notice how it says x is less than 1. That means you don't actually get to include this one, so it's going to be an open circle here. So, you just take this shape and you translate it over. So it's only part of, it's only part of the parabola. So it should look something like this an open circle here because you can get as close to this point as you want to but you are not allowed to include it according to what you see here. Now the other part says negative x plus 3. Sometimes it helps us to rewrite this f of x as saying y so this is actually y equals negative x plus 3. And when I do that we can see that the slope would be negative 1, the y-intercept would be 0, positive 3. So I can put that I can put that here. So 0, 3. A sub of negative 1 would look like this. Now again, I'm not going to get to keep all of this. I'm only going to get to keep the piece that it says I can keep. So here it says x is greater than or equal to 1. So again, you're going to cut make a little cut line here at 1. It says x is greater than, so that means you're going to keep the stuff on the right side of this. So keep this, and you're going to trash this. And it's just a matter of copying and pasting. So you, you cut and paste over here. Now, this point right here, which is 1, 2, is included because you do get to equal 1. So this is going to be a solid filled in point. So here at 1, 2, and I'm going to plot the rest of these points. So I've got this slope, so I know where my points are going to be. I'm just going to use a straight edge to, to finish this. So make sure you put an arrow on the right side because this guy is going to go on forever in that direction. So here's our, pie our piecewise defined function. You will see that this guy does define a function. If I go across here, every time I draw a vertical line, I'm only going to be hitting one point every time. Even right here, when x is equal to 1, you may say, well, oh, but there's two points. Uh, this guy is open, so he's not actually there. And this guy is closed. Um, so there's only one point that's here, and it's this guy here at 1, 2. As I keep going across here, of course, this guy's going to be a function. 
Well, this bottom part should be fairly simple. And we're using the same function that we have above, and it says evaluate. Now, when it says evaluate, you have to know where you're plugging things in. This says f of 0. Your input value is 0, so I have to figure out which one of these guys will accept an x value of 0. Is 0 less than 1? Yes, so it goes here. Is 0 greater than or equal to 1? No, so it does not go here. So it can only be plugged into one of these pieces, not both. If you plugged it into both, you'll get two outputs, and that's not acceptable for a function. So if I plug it in here, that means 0 squared minus 3. And of course, that's just going to equal negative 3. If I look at f of 5, which one of these pieces accepts an x value of 5? Is 5 less than 1? No, so it doesn't work there. Is it greater than or equal to 1? Yes, so you plug it in here. So it's negative 5 plus 3, and that gives us negative 2. And finally, we have f of 1. So, is 1 less than 1? No. But is 1 greater than or equal to? Yes. So it goes here. So negative 1 plus 3 gives me positive 2. Now we could also have evaluated this just looking at the picture. When x is 0, for this one, when x is 0, you see that it corresponds to this ordered pair here of 0, negative 3. When x is 5, Here's when x is 5, and that corresponds to this point. So the coordinates here are 5, negative 2. And that's exactly what I get. I plugged in 5, I got out negative 2. And that matches with the picture. When I have f of 1, when x is 1, I'm right here. So which of these points is it? Well, it's not the open one because there's no real point there. It's really just kind of marking a location for us. It's this guy. So this guy is the ordered pair 1, 2, and you see that that works out here. I plugged in 1, and I get 2.